Okay, so your fishing spot's getting crowded. You need some new fishing spots. Well, I'm going to show you how I find my new fishing spots. Okay, so I have spent so much time trying to find new fishing destinations, secret spots, whatever you want to call it. And I've sort of come to think of fishing spots as a collection, you know, like some people collect fine wines or people collect stamps or cars or whatever. Uh, fishing spots are a collection. All right, so it was way too windy at that other spot. What I was trying to say is that these fishing spots are like collections, you know, first you start off, you only have a few, and then the more you get into it, the more spots you acquire. Uh, just like collections, sometimes the spots that are hardest to find are the most valuable, the ones that you like the most. Rest assured, you stick with it and you will find more spots. You will have a collection of spots that you can fish. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna give you a few tips on how I find new spots. All right, so back in the days, it was pretty rough. Uh, we had maps, <laughs> paper maps, uh, state gazetteers, which was like a thick book of all the topo maps, road maps of a particular state combined and we'd just sit there and go through those things, you know, look for spots where maybe a road crossed a river or maybe uh, a road dead ended into the bay and we'd mark those spots and then we'd get in our car and we'd drive around and see if those were gonna be viable spots for us to access the water to fish. Most of the times they didn't pan out. <laughs> Occasionally they did, but uh, it, was, it was pretty brutal, you know, you spent a lot of time driving and just not knowing if uh, you were just burning gas for no reason. Now, the thing I would suggest doing is something that has come about because of the internet, and that is Google Earth, satellite maps, all that kind of stuff. So it's really easy to go online and basically do the same thing that we used to do, just kind of search, look for spots, look for potential access points, and then all you gotta do is plug the coordinates into your phone <laughs> get in your car and drive right to those spots. What could be easier, right? <laughs> now still a lot of these places won't pan out, but it's definitely easier than it used to be. And it is probably the number one way that I find new spots. So to this day, I'm constantly looking on Google Earth, looking for new places I can put in, looking for new access points, checking to see if like I dump my boat in here and I start to run up river, is there a dam? Is there uh, some obstruction? Is there really shallow water? So Online maps have really been a game changer and I encourage you to uh, use them, find those new spots. Second tip is friends, <laughs> family members, fishing clubs. <laughs> so if somebody that you know fishes, they've probably got some spots and I wouldn't just walk up to them and ask them like, yo man, where should I go fishing next? Maybe invite them to go fishing with you, take them out, show them a few of your spots. And then in turn, they'll be more likely to want to share some of their spots. So that's one of the ways I learn a lot is by taking other people fishing and kind of showing them my spots. And then they'll invite me to go and take them fishing. You know, maybe we trade off, maybe one trip we take my boat, the next trip we take the, another person's boat. Uh, maybe I volunteer to pole them or row them around all day and they'll show me some spots. A lot of times I learn not only places to fish, but also techniques, tips. So, you know, make some buddies. 
uh, reach out to people out there in the fishing world. And that's probably the best, most consistent way to find good spots to fish. The other thing is fishing clubs, not necessarily just fly fishing clubs. Most fishing clubs will have get togethers, outings, uh, maybe even some type of database resources for club members to use to go out and have success when fishing. And you know, once again, it's just camaraderie, more people that fish, more people that care about the environment, people you can hang out with and kind of build a rapport and that'll always up your fishing game. All right, so the last tip I got for you may be a little bit controversial. Uh, people sometimes say, I don't know about that <laughs> as a way to learn new fishing spots, but you can hire a guide. Now, if you hire a guide and your intention is to learn new spots to fish, you should tell your guide up front, hey, I wanna hire you to take me fishing, but I want to learn some spots, so take me to some spots that you wouldn't mind seeing me fishing at in the future. <laughs> and that will make the whole thing a lot easier. Some guides will just tell you outright, no, not gonna do it. But there's plenty of guides that'll take you out with the understanding that, hey, I may not take you to my best spots or my secret spots, but you're probably gonna learn some areas that you don't know and more than likely you're gonna learn some fishing techniques, some tips and techniques from that guide. So hiring a guide, even though I'm a guide, I, I say you should hire a guide and don't take that as me trying to create more business for myself. I actually go out and hire other guides to learn to fish or fish somewhere that I've never fished before. So expert knowledge is always hard, hard to beat. <laughs> you can cut the learning curve way down by just hiring a pro, asking for help, and I guarantee you, you will find spots to fish and you will learn things about fishing. All right, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, good luck on the water.